Welcome Time Vapors. It's me, I'm back again. This time for another review, and this can be about mods and some of the gear that I said about in the last vlog. You know, some of the kit that I've got, mods, and uh, some tanks. Pretty cool tank here, I've got to show you about this one. I've actually uh, compared two very similar tanks, and I'll show you that in a bit. But first off, I want to do a serious note. Uh, as you see by the shirt, never quit vaping. I'm actually uh, on board with everyone else that's doing reviews and posts and uh, blogs and everything like that. Uh, basically the FDA, the state's part there, the uh, people trying to ban vaping or characterize it, put it all as a tobacco product. It's all a load of bullshit in my eyes. Uh, I'm very uh, strict and stern about some things that I believe in. Uh, I don't believe what they're doing is right. I think it's a load of uh, bollocks and I feel we all need to step together. Like all the other reviewers have said and so on, I'm on board with this too. I'd like everybody here that's on this channel right now, obviously, hit the like and subscribe button, but everyone start commenting, and everybody needs to start sending that information to their constituents and that. In Canada, our different provinces, we need to see our heads of our areas, of our cities and our provinces. We need to start writing to them, email them, phone them, whatever you've got to do, guys. Seriously. Because if we don't stand together right now, we're going to be fucked. And I mean severely. Because all this crap about products, like the juices we get right now, this stuff, they're trying to make it, even with zero nicotine, they're trying to say it's going to be classed as a tobacco product. On doing that, if that's legalized or illegal to sell it, whatever, without it being a tobacco product, all the small vape companies we have around us, all the ones that are good and all the friendly ones you know next to where you live, they're all going to be out of business. Like, for, sh for shits and giggles, this is serious, man. They're going to be all done. Because they're on about making it a million dollar program where each product that gets bring brought out is going to be up to like a million dollars to make the product work and to have it all checked and all set up. Well, these small companies can't afford that. These small vape stores can't afford to spend that. They're going to have to shut their doors. So that means we are going to now have to order stuff online and all our shit's going to come from the tobacco companies They've already got the hands in the pockets of so many people already. And we're trying to stop this cancer shit. Right? This stuff has saved so many lives. I'm not saying it's perfect by hell means no. But eating damn food. Eating a burger from the fast food joint. You guys all know how bad that shit is. So vaping isn't perfect. It ain't the perfect health shit. But at the end of the day, it's not as bad as smoking. That's what we're trying to prove. And... 90% of the stuff that people are vaping on isn't even got any nicotine in and the stuff that is is minimal and it isn't the nicotine that's harming so many people that's just an addictive drug that people get onto it's all the other crap the other 20 million chemicals that are in smokes like the smoking companies can't even tell you in a proper pack of smokes that you buy if you take a smoke out of there they can't even tell you how many milligrams of nicotine are in that one smoke can be anywhere between 15 milligrams and up to 20 or 30 milligrams of nicotine in one smoke. They can't tell you because they don't even know what they're putting the shit. So we need to step up and remember, never quit vaping. We need to stand up for this stuff. As I said, I'll bring you a bio about myself, about how I got into vaping. But I've been smoking for over 30 years and this stopped me in a matter of five days. There's a rough rundown, but I'll go on to that after. But that's my rant and rave, guys. Please, comment about it. Tell us what you feel about this stuff. But also, start speaking to your heads of where you live. You know, that's enough of my serious enough and my rant and rave. Now on to the, uh, the review of what I was saying I was going to do. So, I picked a couple of things that I was going to review for you guys today. And then there's going to be a few uh, tips and tricks. Because as I said to you, it's not all about the buying of the brand new stuff. That ain't what I'm about. Uh, I will bring you some brand new stuff and say, oh, this is in. I got some stuff on the way. But uh, I won't really review it fully. I'll show you what it's about. But I want to use it and I want to give you guys, you know, I want to be there for the general population. The people, you know, that haven't got the millions of dollars. You know, I see a lot of people out there, you know, saying, damn, that's a bit much, a bit expensive. You know, $200 worth of vape is pretty expensive. So if you can get it a bit cheaper or I can show you tips and tricks to make stuff cheaper... You know, like making your own juice is cheaper than buying premium brands. Premium brands are nice, but if you make your own, you know, I'll be bringing that more to you, like with the liquid barn that I was telling you about last time. I'll bring you a proper review on that. I've been doing a few of my own recipes. And the wife's involved in that as well. 
I point that way because that's where she's at, she is right now, just around the corner over that way. But she likes to do a bit of the DIY. She's vaping also. And she stands by this vaping stuff compared to smoking, how much crap that was. There's so much benefits from not smoking the cancer sticks. So many benefits of not smoking that. I'm not saying this is perfect, but so much. Anyway, back onto the mods. So what I'm going to show you today is the Aegis by Geek Vape. This thing I've had for a while. As you see by the screen here, if I can kind of cover it up a bit more. There you go. See, the screen's on. It's all good. So what's cool about it is uh, this has been in water. I have a regular day job. Go figure. But uh, yeah, that's been in water. A lot of water because my job consists of a lot of water, about round water and everything else. And uh, it's also been beat up a bit, you know, dropped and banged around and just, you know, I haven't really uh, babied it like a glass one or a plastic one that's got shinies on it. I haven't really babied it. Like the back end there has got the leather on it with the stitching, as you can see by that. Nothing's damaged on it. I'm trying to put it in the light to show you. So really, this thing's been took to its paces and there's a few scratches, as you can see on the screen. See? But that's just regular for a mod with a screen like this. You know, it's the same as the Vapresso I've got over here that I showed you guys. That's got cracks, uh, not cracks, but scratches on the screen. But yeah, the cool thing about this is it's still vaping really good. I'm actually using the Digiflavor Mesh RDA in here. And... As you see by the vapor, and that... Check that out. See? That deck is awesome on that Digi flavor. See, it's a raised deck. <coughs> excuse me. But it's because it's got a chamber here to hold liquid. The other one I was using the other day was uh, Vandy Vapes, I believe. And uh, that one's got the poster's deck. It's flat. But the problem is it's got no deck, like no uh, chamber to carry juice. So whatever is in the cotton and in the mesh is all you've got. This one, you can actually store a bit in the bottom so it wicks for a bit longer. I think I've uh, pulled about nine or ten hits on this. And I'm still not worried, as you see. And I've had a dry hit, guys. I mean I've had a dry hit, and it tastes like ass. It tastes like you've sucked on the exhaust pipe of a fucking diesel truck. Like, damn, dude, that's just nasty. So you never want that. So the fear of the mesh dry hitting, yeah, that's a big fear because it's a lot worse than most things you do. But you know what? As long as you do the cotton right, and I'll show you that in a second, and as long as you put a lot of juice on it, you know what I mean? And it's holding this. That's why I like this one by Digiflavor because you've got that tank where you can hold it in there at the bottom of the deck, and it holds about, I'd say about two, two or three mils of juice, and it's wicking it up into the, the cotton as it, as it does that as well as on the mesh. So, I haven't got a fear about this. I've got a rough idea, you know, how many hits I can have on it before I need to drip some more. Or take the cap off and then put some more in the bottom. That's what I like to do. I don't just drip this one. I like to take it off, put some juice in, and I'm good for a while. All right? But anyway, back to the, uh, the mod, the Aegis. I drift a lot. Don't worry about me. Uh, that's why it's called Time Vapors, because fuck. If you've got the time, then I can talk to you about vaping. Anywho, uh, with the mod here... Uh, yeah, it's got all the uh, titanium, nickel, st stainless steel and all that bypass and all that crap that people tell you about. Yeah, it's all cool. But uh, what I found on this the other day, and I wanted to give a shout out to uh, Geek Vape. I'm not sure. I couldn't find it in any instructions. I'm going to have to try and check a bit more. Someone else might know. Leave a comment below. Anyone else that's done a review or knows more about it. But what I, what I found on this the other day is I uh, put one of these RDAs on here. When I put it on, the screen came up and told me, hey, is this a new atomizer or no? And I never had that when I first got the mod. As I say, it was used, so it could be something that's not right with this mod. That's why they got rid of it, and I got it cheaper. But it's not caused a problem with the mod. I'm just saying, that's a cool feature. So that's telling me this thing's got a chip in it. Now, I'm not sure what kind of chip's in here. But it has to have one if it recognizes there's a new tank going on. Because with doing that, once it tells you this, then you say yes or no to a new tank, then it's going to register the resistance of the coils and everything that's in the tank, and it's going to give you a reading of what wattage to vape it on. Whether you want to go up or down from there, it's a, your choice. But So it's got to have a chip in this one. But I haven't got, I haven't figured that out yet, so I'll get back to that. And I've never heard anyone else that reviewed this from brand new, out of the box, shiny, shiny. Never heard anyone bring that up. So I'm bringing that up to you, that it must have a chip in this one. As I said, I don't know what it's about, but I will find out. 
and I'll try and give you more info once I find out myself. But uh, the other one I found with this mod that a lot of these guys didn't tell you about, obviously the flat deck here, that's where the battery goes in. What they, uh, what, what I didn't hear people tell you about is I'll unscrew this and show you. So as soon as you unscrew it and take the battery out, obviously it turns off and you've got to fire it back up. So you're in here right now, have the 26650 26, battery that comes with the mod and it's in the big tube here but somewhere here two seconds I should have been set up two seconds guys so with this you can hear me anyway so with this it comes with this sleeve and this is what I'm saying these other guys that review this didn't review it fully it comes with this sleeve it's like a condom for your battery so your 18650 battery your smaller one will fit in here I think I have one to show you. I've got another mod, hang on. There's another mod I'll review in time as well, by the way, before I carry on with this. This is the Snow Wolf uh, X Fang by Segeli. Pretty nice mod, look at that thing. It's got the uh, nice stuff on the back. But people have reviewed this already from brand new in the box again, shiny, shiny. I'm gonna tell you how it holds up. Like right now, it's got some weight in that, but anywho. Hit that up and I'll show you this battery thing. Some of you might already know, but basically as I say, I want to run through everything with you so you guys are fully aware of what's going on. So anyway, you got your battery. Your standard 18650 battery. So what you'll do is obviously the positive end. You got your condom sleeve. You push that in till it's flat with the bottom. And then we uh, mod, see the big hole in there? This thing just slides right in, pop. And once it's in there, you screw your door back on. In fact, that door's got a gasket on it. I don't know if you can see that. See that big thick gasket at the bottom there? That's what keeps this thing waterproof. And this fits in snug. Like, you see me screwing this in? And as you're turning it in, it's going to get a bit tighter, and then it gets snug to a point where it stops. Then you just push your lever handle that helps you turn it back in. Keeps it smooth. And then I'll fire it up. One, two, three, four, five. See the light come on. See the mod works. Now, the test of the time... And it works and with that battery there uh, with a standard LG one like that you might get about half a day's use six hours somewhere in there that's with like vaping pretty constant through the day but with a, a work home one or a home homework battery you know those are the ones you get they're better batteries and I've normally got a full eight hours to ten hours out of that battery and basically that overdoes this battery like this one will work about as good as that brown one i put in here about the same amount of time this one dies a lot quicker whereas those homework ones they last pretty much a whole day so there, there's your choice of what you can do with that and i didn't see anyone review this stuff on this 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 mod so it's a good mod like i'm, I'm giving you giving it uh, the time vapor seal of approval there's a mod worth looking into and going to get but and that's by uh geek vape so if you can you can pick them up at the store still you can pick them up online canadian prices i'm going to shout when i say prices guys i'm going to shout out canadian prices all right uh and obviously everyone else can convert it like we have to when we're on other sites and that right so canadian prices i've seen them going on ebay and stuff they're around about the 65 75 dollar range you know, uh, and then you have to pay shipping. If you're not paying shipping, they're more up about the $100 range. That's what they are in the stores around here, about $100. Uh, but as I said, you can look for steel of deals uh, with this one. Like I said before, I got the box with it, so it was like brand new. Came with the charger, came with that condom sleeve for the battery, came with this battery in it. It was just a mod though. Uh, but also with that, I did get the uh, Geek Vape mesh two seconds i'll show you what i got uh so with that as i say uh, i could give this on the vlog but i'm going to run it through today because i'm reviewing them today so uh with this i was looking around i didn't want to pay the full price so with this i got the tsunami tank full kit in the box i got the mod and i got this one this uh mesh one by uh vandy vape sorry see vandy vape i got that one which is basically Similar to this, but this is the one that hasn't got the uh, the holding tank on it like the uh, Digiflavor one has. So, yeah, I got these 
with that for sixty dollars Canadian so you can look around at your local swap buy sell trade whatever sites Facebook has it on it for wherever you are uh, but there's also Kijiji and everything else and it shows you your local area just look on them uh, these days there is issues uh, I've noticed Kijiji is taking a lot of vape shit off now I don't know why I don't know if you have to word it differently you can't call it vaping I don't know if you can call it a mod or electronic device I don't know I'm gonna to have to look into that a bit more and get back to you because I did put a mod on there for sale and I called it a vape and they removed it and said oh we can't we can't promote tobacco products so this bullshit hitting everything it just makes me mad every time I think about it the pricks fuck did I turn it off again yeah I did I put the big battery in it that's why anywho so that's with that so yeah I'll give you a review on that tsunami tank on another time because I've got that on another mod here somewhere uh, but yeah so with those tanks that tanks pretty much the same as this one other than it don't have the bottom and as I say there's a mesh in there and there and there's the wick see just a firing up it's still going strong like, I ain't got an issue with it Still blowing clouds. Yeah. That's what I like to see. But yeah, so with that being said, that's that mod. So take that take a look for that. Leave a comment in the leave a comment below if you feel there's any more info that I didn't bring up on that. Uh comments whether I uh, did a good review on it, give you guys a heads up on it, thought it was worthwhile. You know, I've given it a seal of approval from Time Vapors, it's worth getting. If you're looking at a decent mod to last you a while, construction grade, so it's gonna be tough to use. It's good in the end, I never said that either. It fits the hand really well. It's got some heft to it. It's not as heavy as a lot of the other mods I've found, you know, like the drags and stuff. But it does fit in the hand nicely if you want to fire it that way with your finger on it. Or if you want to turn it around, see how easy it is flipping it around. If you want to grab it that way and you want to fire the button, you can fire it either way. And it's still vaping. And I haven't reduced it. Still vaping. But yeah, so whichever way you want to hold it, it's good to go. Really solid in the hand. It's got a really flat base to stand down so it's not going to tip over. A uh, really good mod. So yeah, leave a comment below as I say as to what else you want to be reviewed. I don't know if you see my other uh, post, my other vlog, about the stuff that I'm going to be bringing up. I have more stuff coming and I have a lot more stuff to kind of give you trips, tri tricks and tips. <laughs> Get that out when you've said a few, a few words or had a few beers, right? But yeah, the tricks and tips, you know, just to help you with your budget, help you with your money and stuff like that. I want to try and be here for that so leave a comment below if you want to you know if you've got questions about what you want to do like whether it's juice whether it's the mesh or whatever because I'm going to show you a couple of tricks right now I don't want to drag this on too long you know get you guys bored but as for the mesh that mesh I've got in there isn't what come with the tank all right with the tanks I don't know if I can show you I'll show you the stuff with this one with the tanks they come with their own packets of uh what do you call it uh, mesh so when you buy the tank it's a $50 tank like when you buy these they're like 50 bucks but like as I said I got a deal on all that for 60 and that's pretty good but yeah so this one see this uh, Vandy Vape one it came with the instructions the box it's got everything in there but it comes with these little packets of mesh see these you know that one's the uh, nichrome but you get like three strips of nichrome three strips of stainless steel and three strips of canthon see this and what it is about these, if you look, I don't know if I can kind of show you closer. It's very stiff. See how bendy, like hard that is? You know, you get all the other stuff, the squonk pin and everything in there. But I'm not trying to go into that with you. I'm just trying to show you about that. So, yeah, with that uh, mesh, it works. Don't get me wrong. I've, I've uh, built one with it. And it worked. The issue I had is once my cotton was wicked with juice on it, uh, the mesh seemed to stay in shape. And as you know, the cotton gets soaked with juice and it moves. So it end up leaving open spots on the mesh. Well, with mesh, you don't ever, ever want to leave an open spot where there's no cotton touching it with juice on. Because you get that dry hit. And I fucking tell you, you get that dry hit. And damn, you're going to be coughing and gherking and choking for a little while after that. You'll be drinking so much water, it'd be unreal, right? See, I'm still not worried about this stuff. Still vaping good. So the stuff I've got in here that I'm showing you, look at this, look how bendy it is. See that? 
And the reason why it's so bendy is because the one vape store I go to when I was picking that uh, I was picking that other tank up, the Digiflay one, the one I was just showing you, when I was picking that up, he said that uh, the owner of the store, he said, well, he picked up some more mesh and it was lab grade mesh and it was 316 stainless steel. But look at this, I've actually folded it because it's so flimsy. Look at this, I fold it ready so I could cut it into strips. See this? And look at that. I've already cut a strip off to show you that you can shape it so easy. Check this stuff out, guys. Look how bendy it is. Look, it's even creasing up. But look at that. And what's so cool about that is basically when you put your cotton in there and you wrap it around and you snug up your cotton inside the mesh and you tighten it down, it's all in there. That cotton is tight. And then when you uh, juice it all up, uh, when the cotton starts moving, the mesh will move with it. It's supple. Even though it's connected on both sides of the, uh, the, the uh, postless deck in the screws, the, the mesh does move with the cotton and the cotton will move with it. They, they bond really well, is what I'm trying to say. The stuff that comes in the box or the other stuff you could probably buy, it's too rigid and it'll end up giving you dry hits. Like if you look at this one, I've been vaping on this one pretty much all afternoon and I think I see one, one part there that's a bit burnt. But I mean, it isn't a burn hit. It's just that it was a bit dry in that area. But you can see how saturated that, that wick is. And see how it's all fluffed up on the sides. But look how the, uh, what is it? Look how the mesh is holding to the cotton really well. See that? And that's what I like about that mesh. So you can keep a check on that. And the cool thing about that was, is that strip there. It was a pretty big strip. I don't know if I can show you again. It bends out quite well. See, look at that. It was like $5.00. Five dollars for all that, and I'll probably get about. Well, I've just cut what is it? Three of them off there. I'm going to get at least 50, 50 meshes off that at least. So I'm going to get 50 times to rebuild for five bucks. So a dollar a build. You know what I mean? That ain't bad. Now anyway, enough about that. Again, I'm just trying to show you guys how good this stuff is. You guys have seen me all video vaping on it, and I promise you I haven't reduced it. It's fucking awesome. So anyway, another couple of things to show you for tips and tricks. You can actually buy, like uh, I bought some pre-built coils, if you want to use coils. It came with a, a battery. Uh, it was when I bought the V-God, the V-God mod, the mech. It came with a little packet of uh, cotton, the, the, the flat ones like right, these came with them and it came with a battery, a Samsung battery, so it came with everything it needed for that, uh, this, this mod right here, this whole kit. Uh, it came with the RTA, it came with the mod, it came with the battery, uh, it came with, uh, came with that cotton, it came with the battery, and it also came with the pre-built coils, right? And uh, seriously, it was only like a, a $30 kit, all of it. But that cotton's good to use, like you can pick that up if you want. The other thing I was going to say is your pill bottles at home. You know, I, I try and help you guys with this cheap stuff here. So your pill bottles that you get your posing that in, you'll get this big bunch of cotton shoved in the top of the uh, container. So you'll pull that out and that'll work good. Because uh, I've been using that and that's what I'm using in here. Is some of that stuff. It's pure cotton. It may have a bit of flavor if you've got some flavored pill pills, vitamins or whatever if it's in that one. But it'll burn off. With the juice you've got in there, the juice will wick it and it'll be fine. The other thing you can use too, is I've got them here to show you, it's pretty cool, is uh, cotton balls. Pick them up anywhere, 300 cotton balls, see cotton puffs. Anywhere from local stores, local vendors or whatever. And look at this. That was a cotton ball. So you get cotton balls, like these ones probably won't be as big. But see this, you get a little cotton ball like that and you can get big strips of cotton out of it. And one cotton ball, I'd say, just one, you could stretch that out. If you just carefully just wiggle it and move it around, it may come a bit loose at times in areas, but look at that, guys. Look at what I'm doing here. See? You just stretch it out, and as you're wiggling it, like, look, it's already doubled in size. And if I keep doing that, it'll get a bit bigger, and you end up with, like, a big strip, like this. You know, and you can fluff it out as much as you want. So, 300... Cotton puffs, 99 cents from Walmart, from wherever in Canada here, you know, your local stores, your local pharmacist. 
but just keep an eye on it you know and it will say on there pure cotton see it says on there right there cotton 100% so just make sure you look for that and you should be good to go there's the savings right there there's your wicking material so you got your wicking material five dollars worth of mesh like that guys you know what I mean that's you know six bucks and that's gonna keep you going for what three months four months depending on how hard you hit you know so that's a no-brainer on that stuff so that's just some tips and tricks for you to get you to get some more stuff a bit cheaper save the bucks because if you still want to do the premium juice you're gonna be paying the price for the premium juice so this stuff will save you the money to be able to buy that in a couple of videos down the road or the next one or something I'll be giving you hints and tips about buying a package a DIY package and it's from these guys liquid barn okay and they bring you like a package full of juices concentrate juices I've got a box up there with a lab kit the syringes beakers and stuff and uh, me and the wife will be coming on here and we'll be bringing you some in, uh, info on uh, some recipes some you know some different uh, stuff we mix together whether it's a juice a couple of juices we've got and we mix them together and we'll give you that like we had one the other day we used some uh, glazed donut and we mixed that with uh, coffee I think and that was bloody awesome you know so some things that may not sound like they're gonna work good together work really well but we have a few that we mix together like that or we'll mix our own you know we've got a selection in that uh, flavor box there and we'll mix our own together but anywho this is your first time here guys hit the like button hit the subscribe hit that bell to come back and see the next video so you won't miss them and leave comments below I'll leave my email below if anybody wants to review a uh, watch face or anyone wants any uh, vaping stuff reviewed hit me up on my email and I'll try and get you back up on here and I'll try and get some reviews done for you guys so I do watch reviews smart watch reviews like I've got one on right now what the heck there you go so I'll take that off and I'll show you that one's uh, Ram Moore again you remember Ram Moore I did a review for that guy I'm just trying to get back down so that's how the watch looks right there see and then I hit the middle oh damn there you go see and it comes back up but anyway this ain't a watch review this is all about uh, mods and stuff still vaping like a champ no no dry hit in sight guys so that's a good tip right there cheap cotton easy to get mesh if you ask your vape guys bonus but yes yeah, so hit me up and you guys that are back for more glad you're back thanks for being here really appreciate that keep hitting that like button and hit some comments get some comments below of what you want to see here guys if I've gone on too long hit me on that too say hey man shorten the videos hey man long in the videos I did two part videos are they good are they bad is this longer one better do you want a short one and then another short one down the road do you want more videos coming out or one big one and then hit me up on comments let me know and always remember guys There's always time with vaping.